So uh, these are BEC simultaneous equation questions. Now, when you are given a simultaneous equation question, you can choose to solve it either using substitution method or elimination method or graphical method. Let's bring out the equation. This is S plus Y is equals to, this is equation 1, S minus Y is equals 1, equation 2. We've numbered the equations. After numbering the equations, remember, we are using substitution method. You can use any method to solve. But if you are using substitution method, this is what we do. Look for one of the equations and make S or Y subject formula. Look at what I mean. I can take, I can say from, from equation 2, S is equals 1 plus Y. Because if I make S subject formula, it means I'm taking this minus Y to this side. It's becoming positive when crossing. So making S subject formula here, it is equals 1 plus Y. And this is our equation 3. Now that we have equation 3, substitute 1 plus Y for S in equation 1. Hence, it is called substitution method. So any equation you see, any simultaneous equation you see, and you are solving using substitution method, what you do is, after numbering the equation, look for any of the equation and make S or Y subject formula. Anyone you make subject formula first, you get the same answer. So here, I'm choosing equation 2 and I'm making S subject formula. I'm making S subject formula in equation 2. I got S is equals 1 plus Y. I made S subject formula from equation 2. So what I will do is now, I will substitute this value of S in equation 1. So if for you, you made S subject formula. Okay, let me do it uh, together for you to get. So I'm doing this. So let's say for your own, you can say you are making uh, Y subject formula and from equation 1. So you just say from equation 1, 1, Y is equals 2 minus S. A B to get your equation 3. So here I'm saying substitute 1 plus Y for S in equation 1. You will now say substitute 2 minus S for Y in equation 2. Because you made subject formula in equation 1, you substitute in equation 2. Me, I made subject formula in equation 2, I will substitute in equation 1. I hope you understand. If you don't, please, you may want to start the video again. I want you to understand how this thing works. So I will now say, okay, now equation 1. S, equation 1 is S plus Y is equals 2. Now, instead of S, we find the new value of S to be 1 plus 1. So we simply put it here to have 1 plus Y plus this Y that's already here is equals 2. Hence, we've substituted S as 1 plus Y here. That's why it is called substitution method. So let's say you, you are the one solving this. Having gotten equation 3, so this y is equals 2 minus s, you now put it for y in equation 2. So you will say from equation 2, s minus, instead of y, we are now putting 2 minus s is equals 1. We are getting the logic, right? So now here, I will simply say 1 plus y plus y is equals 2. 1 plus 2y is equals 2. So 2y is equals 2 minus 1. 2y is equals 1. Dividing both sides by 2, y is equals 1 over 2. Here I collected like terms, and here I simplified. So in your own, you cannot come here and say, s, now look at it, this is in the bracket. You have to take note of this, and there is minus here. So we need to use minus to open this bracket. We now have minus 2 
minus times minus is plus. So this is plus s is equals 1. Take note of this. Anytime you're having minus of something, make sure the something is in bracket so that you don't have sign issue. If you look at this option, you see minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So confusing signs can just change your answer. Then you continue. So we have s here, we have s here, s plus s, we have 2s minus 2 is equals 1. 2s is equals 1. Taking minus 2 this way, it becomes plus 2. So 2s is equals 3. Dividing both sides by 2, s is equals 3 over 2. Now, you may be shouting, but it's different answer. It's not different answers. Look at this. Because I made a subject formula, I got the value of y first. So that one, you made y subject formula, so you got the value of s first. So this is y, this is s. In simultaneous equation, you look for two values. Value of s and value of y. So what do you do next? Now that we have y, remember, from equation 2, from equation 2, they told us that s is equals 1 plus y from equation 3. Remember? From equation 3. In that case, s is equals 1 plus, but now y is 1 over 2. We've gotten the value. So instead of y, we put 1 over 2. You see? Y is called substitution method. So this will give you S is equals 1, uh, the LCM, this is the same thing as over 1. So 1 over, this will give you 2, 2 plus 1, this will give you 3 over 2. Because 1 plus 1 over 2 is 3 over 2. S is equals 3 over 2. Now, for you, remember you said to your equation 3 is y is equals 2 minus S. So y is equals 2 minus s and y is equals 2 minus remember you solved for s your s is 3 over 2 so which is 2 minus 3 over 2 this will give you 1 over 2 so for you you got y is equals 1 over 2 and s is equals 3 over 2 for me i got y is equals 1 over 2 and s is equals 3 over 2 so we got the same thing. Anyhow you do it, you get the same thing. So the same thing applies to the second question. S plus 2y is equals 4. S plus 3y is equals 5. So here, they're asking us to calculate s minus y. It simply means look for the value of s, look for the value of y, and subtract. So to do that, if I'm solving this question uh, using substitution method, I will just say s is equals 4 minus 2y equation 3, 1, 2. So putting that here, 4 minus 2y plus 3y is equals 5. Don't ask me why. I took over 10 minutes to explain them before. So I need to be fast in solving these two. So this will give you 4 plus y is equals 5. y is equals 1. So that's the value of y. Okay, putting the value of y in equation 3, s is equals 4 minus 2y. s therefore is equals 4 minus 2 times 1 because y is 1. s is equals 4 minus 2. S is equals 2. So S is equals 2. Y is equals 1. S minus Y is simply 2 minus 1 to give you 1. So the answer here is a 1. The answer here is, I think this will be E. 1 over 2, 3 over 2. Y. Simply put the value of S in any of the equation. You get the same answer. So if you are putting S as 1 here, Equation 4 becomes 1 minus 2y is equals 5. So 1 minus 5 is equals 2y. 
minus 4 is equals to y. y is equals minus 2. If I'm putting uh, s equals 1 here, I'll simply have 4, 1, minus 2y is equals 8. So minus 2y is simply 8 minus 4. Minus 2y is simply 4. y is simply 4 over minus 2 to give you minus 2. So that is it on simultaneous equation, B, C equation. Thank you for watching my video. I am Flash Isaac. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, Flash Learners, to get my updates on new videos. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Visit flashlearners.com slash videos or search Flash Learners on YouTube to see my amazing videos for all your topics. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.